First, campaign 2019 and the political power struggle in the race for Queens District Attorney. Still too close to call this morning. Public defender Tiffany Caban reportedly hanging on to a razor thin lead over Queens Borough President Melinda Katz. Good morning, I'm Chris Raggy. And I'm Alex Dennis. And for Mary Calvi, welcome to CBS 2 News this morning. The Queens DA race has gained national attention as several prominent Democrats, including a pair of 2020 presidential candidates, put their support behind Caban. Uh, CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis is live in Astoria with more for us this morning. Hey, Jenna. Hey, Chris and Alex, you said it. This race is still too close to call. At last check, the Board of Elections had Caban in a 39 to 38 percent lead. Caban actually plans to be out here this morning to thank voters. She also celebrated with supporters last night. Take a listen. They said we could not win. Yeah. But we did it, y'all. Yeah. Public defender Tiffany Caban claimed victory in the tight Democratic primary for Queens District Attorney, despite a narrow lead over Queensboro President Melinda Katz. Katz had a different message for supporters, bringing up a recount in the six-way race. The primary gained national attention. Caban backed by presidential candidates, including Bernie Sanders, along with Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Katz, a veteran politician, received the party support. 31-year-old Caban doesn't have any prior political experience. Experience, but spent her career working as a public defender in Queens, where she was born and raised. As a public defender, I saw every single day in court that if you were black, if you were brown, if you were low income, if you were an immigrant, if you were a member of the LGBTQIA community, The system wasn't on your side. This is a job that will dictate how our children are raised in this borough, that says how people treat each other, how we keep our families safe while instituting true criminal justice reform in the borough of Queens for them to use as a prototype across the rest of the country. The winner moves on to the November general election against the Republican challenger, and if successful, Caban or Katz would be the first woman to serve as Queen's DA. We're live in Astoria, Queens, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News.